So with reflexology, there's over 7,500 nerve endings in each foot. So how it's sectioned off, there's basically five zones, and some people actually call it zone therapy. So that's another term that you might hear with reflexology. So it's actually kind of sectioned off five zones for each foot. So this side is actually more of the medial side of the body. So right here is more of the vertebrae, all this region here. This is actually your, your big toe, or your halysis, um, the technical term. This is actually your brain right here. Your toes are considered your sinuses. With your sinuses, if um, somebody actually has a cold or any of those kind of complications, it might be a little bit more tender on the toe region. So you might have to spend a little bit extra time in that area. This is the eyes and ears right below the toes. So the eyes and ears. Lung and chest and breast area is right, or, right around here. And what I want to point out too that every single reflexology chart is going to be a little bit different. So don't get set on just one reflexology chart and just go by it with that. And then you talk to another therapist about that chart and then they don't agree with it. So it's just going to get, get a little bit of argument with that. So again, there's many different reflexology ch charts out there. So on this right here, this is actually your nose, so if they have any um, nostril problems, sinus problems, um, you can also concentrate on here. But again, the sinuses are the toes, and the big toe is your brain. So other areas that we want to go over are shoulder area, right around here, that's your shoulder, just because it's the outer part of your body. And what I want to point out too, that everything on your left foot is left side of your body, right foot, right side of your body. So your left foot with um, your heart is actually going to be more on your left foot, but some charts actually show it on both feet. So just for you to be aware of that. So with the heart region, right around here, that's the heart region. So again, right around this area is a lung, chest, and breast area. But again, the heart is right here. So it's basically mapped out how it is in the body. So it's not like your actual brain, where your right brain controls your left side of your body, and left brain controls your right side of the body. With reflexology, right side of the body, the right foot, left side of the body, left foot. So again, 7,500 nerve endings, so that's why it's pretty sensitive with reflexology sometimes in these areas. But if you ever find a tender area um, for reflexology, you might want to hold that area for a little while just until it dissipates for the pain. Otherwise, you can also test it out on the other foot, see if it's more of a postural imba imbalance or any other complication and not just reflexology. But the problem is with reflexology, a lot of people actually will say, oh, you, you got a problem in your heart area, and they might go to the doctor, oh, um, my reflexologist or massage therapist said I have a problem. Um, in my heart area. So be careful when you actually, um, you, you don't want to diagnose, of course, with anything with reflexology. And then also, other areas that we want to concentrate on is the esophagus. The esophagus is more down this area. So if they're having problems um, with swallowing, you might want to concentrate on that area. And again, this is more of the cervical region, so the cervical vertebrae in the neck area. This is more the thoracic area, right here, the medial side. And this is more the lumbar area. And also here is more your sacral region, coccyx region, and some people actually call this the lower back helper area. And also anything with sciatica right on the heel area. So it's really actually hard to get any pressure right in the calcaneus region, but you might have to actually use your knuckle to get in there. Okay, other areas that we're going to go over is the kidney area, and that's more right here. And then the colon, the left part of the colon, it actually goes 
transverse right here, and it goes descending, and then, and then the sigmoid pulling down this way. So again, sciatica just below that, but again, it's pretty much mapped out the same way it is on your own body. So if you understand the anatomy of your own body, you're more likely to understand these areas too then. The, the pancreas is just a little bit up from the kidney region. And then the adrenal gland, just a little bit more over, closer to the arch region, but not right on the arch because again, that's a thoracic region for the vertebrae, We're right there. The spleen, it's more over here. So again, adrenal glands. Okay, the next one, pancreas. Next one, spleen. So it's kind of an order for that area. So, the, um, the spleen is just going to be on the left foot, it's not going to be on the right foot. But the gallbladder um, is going to actually be in the right foot then, so that's where it is, it's positioned on the body. Stomach area, it's around this whole area, so that's considered the stomach region. Diaphragm, it's up a little bit, just where the diaphragm is basically located. So it's right up here, right in this region. And that's a lot of the, tech, um, lot of the areas that we'll be concentrating on for this, this treatment. And some people believe the true reflexologists will not use any oils, creams, lotions, um, powders, you name it, on the feet. They're just going to actually work on the foot like this. But some therapists, um, they'll actually have the, the client actually soak their feet beforehand and even have um, some peppermint oil or eucalyptus oil, so a kind of cooling sensation on the feet before they actually start treating it. Or some people actually use more of a relaxing, like lavender, um, on the feet too, so it's actually more relaxing for the, the muscles in those areas. But with uh, essential oils, um, you don't want to use a lot of drops, maybe two to three drops, so mix it in, um, actually mix it in with your lotion or creams or um, even a little bit of baby powder. But the problem with baby powder kind of clumps up when you use any kind of oils with that. So you can actually put um, just a few drops of essential oil on their body first, on their foot area, let it soak in a little bit, and then actually incorporate um, the treatment into it.